Thanks for checking us out right here at Black Video News. I'm right here with one of the baddest R&B singers to ever pick up a microphone mm. from Akron, Ohio, Mr. Howard Hewitt. What's up, man? What's going on, Howard? Like I said before, I said I just hire you to come introduce me wherever I go because that's a great, great, great introduction. Well, thank you, sir. You yeah. know, Will Downing said that uh, a year ago I mm. interviewed him, and then you came up in the conversation <laughs> about light skin brothers. Yeah, oh yeah, we we are here. We've never gone anywhere. It's never, we, they say light skin is coming back. We've never gone anywhere. We've been here all the time. <laughs> yeah, he was cracking up. What's been going on with Howard Hewitt, sir? Man, just working and, and um, you know, putting together the next uh, project. And I do about 100, 100, 110, 120 uh, dates a year. And, um, you know, just uh, doing, the, they're doing an unsung on, uh, episode on me that airs around uh, August 24th, I think it is. And, and uh, like I said, working on the next project. So probably drop something in about couple months or so yeah i'm looking forward to that on song one of my favorite shows on mm -hmm. tv one big fan kathy hughes mm -hmm. on a wednesday night i'm on the couch checking it out i can't wait to see that yeah but tell us man you got any new compositions you working on anything that's hot man uh working on the next project like i said with the independent system the way that it is now you know you can kind of take your time and put put stuff together and uh it's not you don't have that major record company bureaucracy and and red you know red tape uh looking over your shoulder and telling you, you gotta you gotta do this you gotta hurry up you gotta hurry up you know you just take your time put it together yeah so so you know i know the industry has changed a lot you're still doing it but how do you stay connected with these young millenniums to let them know who howard hewitt is from from shalomar and then your solo career as well well, I think the main thing is just to stay, just to do what I do and, and keep doing what, uh, stay true to what you do. As an artist, I have to, I have to understand where I am, what my lane is, where, what my, you know, where, what, where my audience is. And, and you reach out, you do new material. There's nothing wrong with, with being, with listening to new stuff. I, I love like Kendrick Lamar. I love the uh, uh, Anderson Pack album. Uh, okay. I love all, a lot of that stuff. But right. you know, I listen to it. I'm influenced maybe by production and stuff like that. Right. But you also have to always understand and know where where you are as an artist and, and who you are as an artist. A lot of times people can change from one genre of music to another genre of music. This is hot now, so I'm gonna be this. That's hot then, so I'm gonna be that then. And then, you know, you not only stand a chance of losing your audience, but you stand a chance of losing yourself as an artist also. So that's why, you know, thank God, you know, I've been able to last through the last like 30 something years. You yeah, know? you've been consistent, been around, man. It don't look like you aged a bit. Yeah, uh, uh, I need a glass time. of this fountain that you'll be drinking from. <laughs> But man, you think you and I know you've been doing some stuff, uh, you know, overseas mm -hmm. with my man Jeffrey, the original Moonwalker. Taught Michael. What, yeah, taught he Michael. taught Michael how to do the Moonwalk. I mean, and and we're not hating on Mike because Mike gave him his props. Mike gave him his, you know, and and uh, hooked him up on it with a lot of work through the years. But it's just the truth. Jeffrey literally yeah. went over to the Havenhurst house and taught Michael how to do. The backslide, we used to call it the backslide right. back in the day. Right. And then Michael took it and, and uh, uh, on the uh, 25th an uh, Motown anniversary, uh, coined it the moonwalk, which was great. That's cool. But the moonwalk is actually a whole different dance right. than w the backslide is the backslide. But yeah. but Michael called the backslide moonwalk. Yeah, Jeffrey was a bad dude. Pop along, all still of that is. stuff. St still, still is. is. Still no, is. Oh, yeah, the still pop along is. kid, man, yeah. for sure. Yeah. But uh, just briefly, man, I know you're here in the Alamo City. You're making your tours throughout the country right mm -hmm. now. You know, mm -hmm. where, where are you headed next, Howard? Uh, next show is actually tomorrow night in um, San Rafael, California, Northern California. Okay. And then um, after that, I'm, I'm hopefully taking about a week or so off because I've been trying to move into, I just bought a new house. I'm trying to move and work at the same time. And that's, right. that's crazy. I hate moving anyway. So <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that. That's crazy. But... But um, uh, hopefully have about a week off or so, and then go back overseas for a little while. Well, it sounds good, Howard, man. For, for, for your fans and my viewers out there, leave them with something, how they can stay connected with Howard Hewitt. You can stay connected through the uh, Facebook.com slash Howard Hewitt fan page. And also we have a Twitter account, which is called Just the Vocalist. And then the uh, Instagram account is uh, Howard underscore Hewitt. And I have thehowardhewitt.com. 
So any one of those, you can you can pretty much stay connected. Now, now you know, you know, can I do can I do this? And and this is not BAPS, but I'm gonna do you like BAPS. <laughs> remember, remember how she did you in BAPS in the restaurant? Oh, how can you please say? How can you please say? That's terrible. <laughs> I'm getting ready to work in about two hours. Can you just leave me with a note for the ladies, Howard, right here on BBN? You. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's it. Hey, that's Howard Hewitt. I want to thank Q Live One Radio and Mr. Howard Hewitt. As always, I'm Keith Scott. Black Video News, be encouraged, baby. Howard Hewitt. That's the good end. I love it, though. I'm good, dog. Hey, this, go. this is Keith Scott, Black Video News, right here at the Howard Hewitt event, right here at the Tobin Center. And I got one of the kings of comedy, if not the king, and Mr. Entertainment, D. Ellis, right here all the way from D-Town. What's up, D? Man, what's up, Keith? What's up, dog? What's up, dog? Man, I see you. Boy, you're clean as the board of health. What's going on, man? Man, you know I got my George. Hey, I see I got my microphone right here below my chin, both of them. <laughs> he told me, he said, do not cover up your face. Hey, man, I'm good, man. I'm blessed, man, to see, be here at this event, man. Uh, Howard Hewitt is a great artist. Um, there's nothing like performing with some legends, man. My boy Blame is on the show, man. My man Richard, he puts on some grown folk ass entertainment, which we absolutely need. You should have seen the outfits that were here earlier. It was crazy. He, he, they he, came with some chips and sauce. He's he thinking about the outfits right now. But D, man, what's up with, uh, with D. Ellis, man? What you doing, hey, you man? Tell what, us a little quickly got, where you're uh, headed. What you doing? I'm on Dad's Father's uh, Network, man. I got my own network. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, D. Ellis, Mr. Entertainment Network, man. But folks can actually text Mr. Entertainment all together to 22828, you know what I'm saying, and register, man. I'm about to do some stuff with Mark Cuban tomorrow. Uh, got a big comedy show next Wednesday, October 21st. I got my uh, new stand-up DVD, Born Stupid. <sighs> it's about to be real ignorant. Got some more shows coming up with um, uh, a few other folks. You know, I, I, I get booked a lot in the fall with Ricky, and uh, I think I got some stuff coming up with Charlie Wilson again, man, because I hit about four dates with him. Okay. Man, first and then again, man, shout out to y'all for putting me in that book, dude. Wow. <laughs> y'all will have me doing an acceptance speech. I like to thank God <laughs> and everybody in the world for putting me down in that book. It's a great look, man. Um, y'all doing big things. I've mean, been knowing my man behind the camera for the longest with this Black Lives Matter light. Yeah, yeah. Black Lives Matter. Like, you're crazy, man. I got my boy D. Ellis. Yeah, yeah. He's right here doing his thing. Howard Hewitt's in town. As always, it's a pleasure. Mr. D. Ellis Entertainment is live right from Dallas. Mr. Entertainment. Mr. Entertainment. Hey, Dallas King. America's funny, man. I'm going to get it straight with you. DEllisWorld.com. Make sure y'all long on. And my man has some suits. I've been, I've been forgetting my suit every time I come down here, so that's my bad. But uh, I love what y'all doing, man. Represent black folk. Doing it for everybody, but just representing black folks so well down here, man. It's not a whole lot that we doing, but it's a beautiful, beautiful book. Got a McDonald's as a sponsor. That's major. Salute to folks that's doing it. You know what I mean? Straight up. Well, no doubt. Well, thanks for talking to us. As no always, doubt, Dave. Enjoy it, man. Keith Scott yeah. covering with my man D. Yeah. Ellis right here from Dallas. Yeah. Keith Scott, Black Video News, baby. Keith Scott. Be encouraged. Black Video News, baby.